Hello you all, welcome back to my channel. If you are returning to subscribe, what's good? If you are new, hey boo, I am back with another video, okay? So, I don't know when y'all gonna get this video, it may be today, maybe tomorrow, on Friday, but your girl's in the recording mood once again, I'm feeling good today. Hopefully y'all are in great spirits. And before I even get into this video, this topic, I was literally just sitting up thinking about, and I had to move over a little bit, y'all, because I noticed that my lamp in the back made me supposed to come and fix it and give me some different lighting but i noticed that light was kind of blanding me a little bit <laughs> so hopefully it wasn't bothering y'all or it wasn't too bright for y'all but basically we just gonna hop straight into the video but i was just thinking about something like hopefully y'all have been safe and warm out here and <laughs> it's so icy out there and it's so much snow it is so cold like you literally gotta try to stay in good spirits in the winter time because this is usually the time where people are usually depressed they down because the weather is bad and they just can't seem to find any sort of joy but i was just thinking about something that happened a long time ago <laughs> i gotta tell y'all the story before i get into this video um i had started living with my cousin right after my grandmother passed away i had moved here and went to stay with my cousin so this was around the time I was in high school, yeah. So my cousin lived in this really big house. Like she lived in a beautiful home. And it was like half a hill. And I used to have to walk down this steep hill every morning to walk to the bus stop to go to school. And so I didn't pull my particular thing. Yeah, it was a winter time. And it was real icy outside. Y'all already know where this story going. <laughs> Y'all already know where this story going. Around this time I remember I had <laughs> Cause let me just give you the back story. Okay, so around this time, my mother had bought me these Timberland boots, right? <laughs> Y'all remember the Timberland boots from back in the day? Not the boots with the fur. Now I had those. My sister had got me my first pair of Tims with the fur. But my mother had got me some wheat colored Tims, but they had a little heel on it. Cause you know, your girl, I've always been a girly girl. And so when my mom had gave me them boots, I was hyped y'all. So, <laughs> Every morning before I used to go to school, I used to be getting myself all dressed up and done up. And my cousin used to always be like, girl, that's what you win. I'm like, yeah. And so somebody else had chimed in. And I felt like she was hating a little bit because <laughs> she was like, well, she finally bust her stuff. That's on her. You know, this is before I had left out child to walk to the bus stop. And I'm walking, you know, I'm thinking I'm cute and all this time. I'm styling and profiling. And the minute I hit that steep road, like I slipped. <laughs> I slipped and fell on my butt so hard, y'all. Like, I don't know who I thought I was walking down the street with them heels on like that. And I thought that I was gonna be good. But when I, I felt when I say I fell so hard, y'all, like I think I probably broke my tailbone or something like y'all that stuff was painful and what made it even more worse y'all this was so embarrassing <laughs> somebody was driving past too and you know how you could feel somebody staring at you right yeah but I forgot to add this here but I remember when the car was ran back and I had fell like they literally rolled back right as I was sleeping and falling and I seen that they had slowed down and <laughs> And it started to injury. They let down the car window. They was like, are you okay? And I'm sitting up there trying to play it. I was trying to act like trying to hope it that they didn't see me. You know, I just kind of wanted the moment to disappear. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. I didn't even want to look over at the person. I felt like they was probably laughing at me. But that stuff was so funny, y'all. I just wanted to share that little memory because I was just looking at all this snow and ice out here. <laughs> y'all be careful on this snow and ice out here. Don't be trying to be all cute and stuff. Like, because... This ice and this snow ain't playing out here. But basically, we just gonna hop straight into the video. I want to come hit y'all with another topic, okay? So it was something that I had seen. This had to have been like a month or so ago when I saw this. And a topic just jumped out of my head like right away. Like I need to make a video about this. And I feel like since we are starting a new year, it's probably some ladies on my channel that's probably still having a hard time with discernment when it comes to friends and things like that. If it's a guy that's watching this, you probably may be going through the same thing. But I had seen something that just kind of inspired this video. But y'all see the title. Friends who publicly humiliate you aren't to be trusted, okay? 
And the title goes without saying, okay? Y'all probably have thought about that one time to where if you have ever had one of those instances to where you were probably like the butt of the joke all the time, like it always seemed as though people was always trying to put you on the spot or try to embarrass you in some type of way or do something to humiliate you in some sort of way. And you was never able to really catch on to it until probably later on, you know, once you start noticing the things that keep on happening and happening. But I'm really just thinking about this situation that happened with this other person that I know. Friends who try to publicly humiliate you are not real friends, okay? Some people will purposely try to humiliate you because they may be envious of you, okay? I seen something and it really just kind of disturbed me a little bit because there was a situation to where it looked as if this person was just kind of like, you know how you see them people where they be a part of a clique? I think I talked about this in previous videos ago where I said, stay away from women and give off main girl energy. Like, you know how it's always that one girl out of the clique where she just don't fit with them. She stick out like a sore thumb, you know. Um, she always trying to chase up the hand. This popular girl is super mean to her. She desperate for attention her validation that she would literally do anything to get this person's approval even accepting bad treatment and things like that so it was so crazy because i seen this similar situation with another person it really don't matter how old you get there's some people that spend their entire life being clueless about who their real friends are you know some people get way way up in age and they still seem to hold on to toxic friends you know they want this it's always seems to be people that always want to be a part of a clique or something i feel like it's a difference between popularity and just being well known and well liked by a lot of people now there are some people out here that are popular but they don't have a nasty rude personality this person might have gained their popularity by their personality you know a lot of people like them because they have a likable personality and that's what made them popular but you are really going to have certain people to where you can tell that they really just thirsty for popularity and they are just willing to accept poor treatment from their friends their peers whoever you know you got certain people like this they deal with this type of thing in their relationships where they may be in a relationship with a certain woman or a certain man and you can tell that they are always constantly trying to fish for this person's approval and validation to be accepted in life but we are just thinking more so with the friends do not accompany yourself with people that seem to take a pleasure out of humiliating you if you always seem to be the one that's put on the spot for public embarrassment then that's a red flag these type of friends are fake friends okay these would be the type of friends that are always be trying to hype you up to do something foolish a lot of times when you see people doing certain things and you just be sitting back looking at this person like okay what's wrong with this person <laughs> they looking crazy right now and nine times out of ten they got somebody behind them pulling the strings somebody egging them on to do something foolish and you know how you ever had that person like say this is you like to go out with your friends all the time and then you slowly but surely start to notice that and this is another reason why I say it's important for you to leave drugs and alcohol alone in the new year because a lot of people like I said in a previous video some people take entertainment out of corrupting others. Some people take entertainment out of making a mockery of you, okay? They like to make you the laughing stop for other people. These would be the type of friends that y'all go out to the club or a bar or something like that. And like say for y'all went out for hookah or just anything to where you are on display for a lot of people to see you. If you have ever had one of those instances where if it seems as though they always trying to hype you up, give you drinks, give you pills, give you weed, uh, whatever. And they know that you always be coming out of your body when you get certain things in your system. And you have always been the one that made a fool of themselves by doing certain things and you will notice that these type of friends the ones that are publicly humiliating you these are the type of ones that will be quick to put a camera out and record you while you are under the influence of something they want to publicly humiliate you and these will be the type of friends that will hype you up be like yeah get up on that stage and get to singing girl like you blowing like right now you up there with beyonce hit them vocals girl mariah carry on them and you really just thinking like that you got this beautiful voice and your voice is cracking and friends that will publicly try to humiliate you they will never try to pull you aside friends that will publicly humiliate you they'll never try to help you in any sort of way they'll always be there it seems as though they are keeping you around for their own personal entertainment 
you on stage making a fool of yourself everybody in the club is probably laughing at you pointing at you you got your fake friends over there recording you they putting you on snapchat instagram twitter and all this and that and you don't even notice what they doing because you out of your body friends that go out of their way to try to publicly humiliate you those are not real friends okay like i said with the whole growth journey you're gonna lose a lot of friends along the way too when you start to grow. When you leave behind certain things in your life, these friends are gonna fall up out of your life. When people try to put you on public display, this is the whole thing, the evil thing behind social media, where people just seem to be posting anything online, putting people on blast all the time. You can't trust a person that's always trying to put something. When a person is always trying to, never trust a person that is always willing to pull out their phone and record things all the time. You know, I know we have our phones all the time, but if this person always seems to be pulling out their phone, it's going to be red flags. You are going to notice with these type of friends. They are always the ones that's always pulling out their phone to record other people. Or they may send you a video or a meme or something of somebody where it seems as though they are being humiliated. And it seems as though this person always seems to find humor out of people being humiliated. Then that's a red flag. You know, you'll see it with other people before you start to notice that they are doing it to you. The discernment of friends for the year 2024. If you can't seem to go anywhere with these group of friends or people these might not even be friends these may be associates if you can't seem to go nowhere with these group of people without feeling like you always got to put on the show for them or something like that or they always want to see you turned up like i ain't never really been in that situation because i already told y'all before that i ain't never really had too many friends growing up because of situations like this that i have i have witnessed with other people but if you always seem to be the one to where yeah you can't go out with these people unless you are putting on some sort of show for them they're always trying to hype you up to do something foolish like I said, they may be handing you certain things to try to get the party started, to try to get you to turn up with them. And it would seem as though it's a hidden agenda behind it. Like, it seemed like it's all good company and y'all just coming out to have a good time. But if it always seems to be a thing to where you are the show, okay, and it always seems to be something that you are doing that is foolish. And they, <laughs> girl, what you say? They got the phone out recording you. They know what they're doing. They are trying to publicly humiliate you. These are not real friends. These friends that always try to publicly humiliate you, these always seem to be the type of friends that are cool with your enemies. They got these receipts on you making a fool of yourself and they are gonna go back and show this video that they recorded of you to your enemy. These people are not to be trusted, okay? At all. This person don't care about you like that. This person has you around for their own personal entertainment. If you always seem to be the one that's putting on the show for people, then that's a red flag. If you are always the one that's doing something, okay, and you got a whole crowd around you that's always seem to be laughing at you all the time, and people be thinking that just because people are hyping them up and laughing at them, that they really just a funny person or they may just feel like, oh, you know, these people really care about me. Like they enjoy my good sense of humor. They really like me, but really they are doing this with malicious intentions. They do not have your best entries. Okay. These will be the type of people that when you have certain friends like this, you may have came to certain instances where you might have felt naive, you know? You didn't have the best discernment when it comes to these friends. These might have been friends that have been a part of your life for a very long time. So they have been able to get away with a lot of things that you have not probably been privy to. And so now you are starting to see everything. But this would be the type of friend that will literally tell you to come to the edge of the cliff. They'll try to tell you to jump. They're going to jump with you. And then you turn around and look to see that they still standing right there. It's way deeper than being a butt of the joke, okay? People like to put you in certain situations to where you end up self-sabotaging. These are the type of friends, the ones that like to publicly humiliate you. They are the ones that are buying a front row seat and popcorn to watch the show. Do not accompany yourself with people that seem to get an enjoyment out of your pain. Because when people do certain things for the approval of others, when they want popularity and things like that, they are in a desperate need. They are kind of like in a low place mentally to where they feel as though they need this attention, this validation from these friends. They are feeding off your pain. These are the type of people that are spiritual vultures, like I said previous videos ago. Friends that like to publicly humiliate you, these are spiritual vultures.
They will feed off your pain. They don't care about embarrassing you and putting you on front street for the whole world to see. Okay? These would be the type of people that are literally record you doing something. They done posted your stuff on a public website and you done hit millions and millions of views. And then this is why they got so many viral videos out here of people doing some foods and it seemed like they get the million, billion views. Now it's half out of scene. This person don't know that they was being recorded. You got people out here that became well known for somebody putting them on the spot, making a fool of them. And some people are still going through public humiliation from what a friend has done to them. And they sitting back thinking, they got all these fans and stuff. Y'all remember them TV shows we used to watch back in the day where they used to have certain guests come on the show. The host has invited them to share the story behind this wow video, this circulate down here in the world and they want to know the reason why this person done this foolish thing nine times out of ten this person did not even plan this this person ain't want to go viral for this public humiliation for the whole world to see anything that you record on your phone and you post online you don't know who gonna see that when people do the public humiliation thing, you will see in certain instances where the person, they'll literally try to make light of the situation, but you can clearly tell that this person is humiliated. The person may be hurt. The person may be like, I wasn't expecting for this to get out here, but I had people that I thought was my friends post this. And that's why I'm getting all this attention and buzz around the world. Some people out here are still trying to live that damn. The public humiliation that they have suffered by the hands of a fake friend. You know how you um, see certain crazy videos online that go viral and then this person always seems to have so many people coming up to them and be like, are you that girl that fell on your butt? Are you that girl that got beat up on camera? Are you that girl that made that wild video trying to sing like you was Mariah Carey and really you don't know how to sing? Oh, can I get your autograph? Stuff like that. Don't accompany yourself with friends like that. If y'all can't go out and have a good time without you always having to be recorded, then those are not the friends for you. Be very leery of a person that's always so quick to pull out their phone to record everything. Some things are meant to be private. That's underrated these days. Privacy is underrated. Everybody feel like everything should be on display. Everybody should be able to see your life, you know? Every little thing about you needs to be shared. But real friends, they value your privacy. Real friends are not gonna try to publicly humiliate you for, in front of a lot of people. They're not gonna take something that could be potentially hurtful to you, okay? And people, like I said, people are very calculated with certain things that they do. They have a very evil intention behind certain things that they do. It's people out here that has went viral for doing something foolish and these people can't even get certain opportunities because of certain things that are out here on the internet. All cause bad friend. So be very leery of who you choose to share your company with this year. Okay, I don't know who this video is for, but you don't need friends like that. Real friends are gonna value you. Even if you get to a certain instance to where something embarrassing has happened to you and they were there to witness it, they are not going to try to put it on display for everybody to see. They don't sit up there and try to act like they didn't see it. Just like you going to try to act like you didn't see it. You know having something embarrassing happen to you, you going to try to play it off like it ain't even happening. You hoping that ain't nobody else see it happen. That's the type of tag you want your friend to be on when it comes to certain situations like this. Your friend going to act like she ain't see it too or him. They're going to ask you if you're okay. They're going to make sure you're straight behind the scenes. But a fake friend is not going to do that. They are going to put everything on public display. And another way you are going to be able to know the intention behind these jokes, this public humiliation, where you are going to be able to know that this person is purposely doing this. When somebody embarrass you, you feel like you want to crawl up in a corner. You don't want to be seen. You want to be invisible. Just like I told y'all in the beginning of the video when I slipped on the ice and fell. When you become aware of what has happened because a lot of friends like this, pay attention. A friend that is purposely trying to humiliate you, they will be on an all-out mission to show you yourself, okay? They'll be the ones that call you up the next morning after what happened or you'll wake up and notice that it's posted all over social media. And you may get really upset. You may feel shame. You may feel hurt. You may feel embarrassed. You may feel betrayed and all of that. You may get to telling this person, why would you record me like that? Why would you post this online? Take that down. You know, you need to take that down right now. I, I'm embarrassed right now. 
and you voicing your feelings to this person, letting them know how you feel, and they are going to be very dismissive with you. They're going to say things along the lines like, oh, it ain't really that serious. It ain't that deep. Like, what people seeing it? Like, ain't nobody really seeing it. Like, I don't really got too many social media friends. Like, ain't nobody really going to see this girl. Like, it ain't really that deep. Red flag, okay? And that is how y'all going to know that they did this intentionally. To embarrass you. It's when they are not apologetic for what they have done. They'll probably keep on steady laughing at it, keep sharing it and stuff. They won't even take it down. You may literally get to the point to where you feel as though you may want to put hands on this person because they won't take this down. That's the main way to let you know that this is not a friend that you can't trust. Okay? Friends that publicly humiliate you aren't to be trusted. That first little few minutes of you turning up has came back to bite you. Ended up sabotaging certain opportunities in your life. And people may say some along the lines of, okay, that's kind of far-fetched. You kind of going a little bit too deep. It really ain't that deep. When really, it is that deep. Because certain people out here, they are still suffering behind public humiliation by the hands of a fake friend. So, yeah, I just wanted to come and share this video so y'all can just kind of be manful this year. And I know sometimes when I be coming on here and putting out certain videos, people probably be in the background like, she's trying to tell me what to do. She's trying to dictate my life. Don't try to tell me how to run my life. I can do whatever I want. And really, it's just a motherly quality about me. I'm a mother. So, you know, anytime I may come and put out certain things, it's not in a way to tell you what to do. It's just me trying to give you some advice. You know, I'm a mother, so I'm going to always have that motherly kind of advice. You know, this is advice that I would give my channel. It's advice that I would give my younger niece, my younger cousin. You know, so I look at... My YouTube family, my subscribers, I look at y'all like y'all are my family. So I mean everything in love, okay? Ain't nobody trying to control you and tell you what to do. But that's just my take on it. Hopefully y'all have a lovely, prosperous year. Hopefully y'all are able to weed out these fake friends, okay? Don't be out here being publicly humiliated this year, okay? They got that New Year's video where you was turned up and acting a fool on New Year's because you didn't give up them drugs and alcohol for the New Year. They said to keep on inviting you out to places and they said to keep on recording you doing something foolish. And putting it on land. It's time for all that to stop. Baby. These are the type of friends that you will feel like they are laughing with you when really they are laughing at you. Okay? Y'all have heard that saying before? Some people are not really laughing with you. They are laughing at you. And that's where it comes to the whole thing with these friends. Now, it's all good to get together and have a few laughs. Okay? Laugh is medication. Okay? But if it is seen to be things that are at your expense, like they making jokes at your expense, they are laughing at you. They are not laughing with you. And these are friends that you cannot trust. But yes, hopefully y'all took something from this video. Hopefully it helped you in some way. Continue to protect y'all soul in the spirit. And I will talk to y'all in the next video.